What's up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, um, quite a lot of action has been going on. We got another new all-time high for Bitcoin. The whole market, uh, almost the whole market is in, in green. Uh, we've had a pretty good day already today. Now, the important part of this is that so many people were thinking that Bitcoin was just going to retrace and then we would get the altcoin uh, pump, but that is not what has been happening. I think Bitcoin has set three, I think it's three new all-time highs in the last few weeks. And uh, it seems like there's nothing stopping it. Um, what I'm seeing too is just the fact that this is so different and also it, it almost reminds me of what happened during 2017, that bull run. Now, um, let's see. It's I mean, Bitcoin is just going nuts here. Let's take a look at it real quick. So we're at 72,436. Uh, is that an all, a new all-time high? No, the, the, so far the all-time high is $72,709. And this right here, is an absolutely bullish um, setup right here. I mean, because look, you look at this uh, setup and then boom, and now we got more consolidation and it, I mean, it looks like it's really gonna go crazy. So why do I talk about Bitcoin? Well, of course, everything follows Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the number one uh, as far as it's, uh, it, you know, people knowing about it and just basically relating the whole crypto market to Bitcoin. So without Bitcoin, we don't have anything. You know, whether you have it or not, I don't have any Bitcoin, but we need it to do, you know, major things for everything else to just kind of follow. Now, if we go ahead and start looking at some of the other stuff that's going on, uh, just around here uh, Trump I was going to say Crump <laughs> Trump uh, this is Trump pumps crypto sneakers in C CNBC interview after posting 92 million dollar bond you know personally I'm going to tell you this I am pro Trump now I'm not you know as far as getting too much into politics and all of that uh, I don't really do that so much but I'm going to tell you this we cannot handle another four years of what we just gone through this 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 country will absolutely fall <laughs> into a quagmire uh quagmire um if we if we do another four have another four years of you know the person that's been in there or anything resembling that now some people are waking up but hopefully you know we we have some of what he brought between 2016 and 2020 so we'll see we'll see um, now getting into this Trump does talk about the fact that people are purchasing his shoes with Bitcoin and he is speaking favorably towards Bitcoin now what is actually prompting that uh, I'm not absolutely sure but I think it has a lot to do with the fact that Bitcoin is pumping it is reaching new all-time highs and to be honest with you I really believe that we're just getting started or it's possible that we're just getting started because I, I don't want to just throw it out there having people thinking that I'm endorsing you know a five hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin but I think it is very possible that we could see uh, much higher levels than what we're seeing now some people let's go into this next article BlackRock filings can send Bitcoin far higher than $138,000, according to some analysts, right? Now, that I think that's very possible. Uh, the fact of the matter is, these ETFs, this is, this is new territory. We don't know exactly how this is going to fully affect the crypto market. And the, the thing is, we've, we've, for the most part, Crypto has been somewhat isolated, right? Now, with these ETFs, it brings a whole new dimension to 
the ability to invest in Vic in Bitcoin. It, it's just a totally new uh, dynamic that we don't really know how everything's going to turn out. So, like I said, I think it's very possible we could see some things that we have never expected because because of this integration and because of you know these doors being opened for Bitcoin investments, right? So we'll see. But like I said, looking at this at this setup, I mean it it truly looks it, it looks very 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 bullish. Very bullish. So I mean, who knows? We could possibly see another uh another pop. I mean, maybe over a hundred thousand. You know, don't hold me to that, but anything is possible at this point. Because another point of this is just the fact that gold and this has never happened before. Gold is is uh, on a bull run as well. Gold is up along with Bitcoin when usually it's the it's the inverse. Now, as you see here, according to Jason Krantz or, or sorry, Jason Katz, gold, gold and crypto are the, are at the hip with one another. So they're they're tied. It's like gold, the stock market, uh, Bitcoin or crypto. But I'm just saying Bitcoin because it is the leader. Um, a lot of different things are going on, guys. I'm just letting you know. Hopefully, uh, most of you have already made all your purchases that you needed. I, I really hope so because I just I really feel as though we could possibly see something akin to 2017. 2017 was probably the biggest. You know, uh, just thinking about what was going on at that time because of course I first heard about crypto back in March of 2017 I think it was and uh, and, and I'll, I, I always tell people which some people have <laughs> tried to tell me that's it's not true but if you go back and look at the uh, look at the past levels or the levels at that time I purchased XRP at six tenths of a cent okay I just at the time I hadn't done any research I didn't you know, I, I just didn't do my due diligence and I was very stupid in how I was um, investing and, and just doing things. I lost a lot of money. I actually made a lot and I lost a lot. So um, if I had known about the uh, just if I had known anything about XRP or if I had just done just the slightest bit of actual research, I probably would have put about a thousand dollars into XRP at that time. OK. Now, the way it was, I put, I, I basically spent $15 on XRP at that level. I got about 2,500 coins, I think it was, and I ended up selling it at around 20, 20 to 25 cents. Okay, made a little money, nothing significant, but I made money. So, um, when, you, when you think about if I had put $1,000 in, it really would have done a lot of good for me, right? But again, I didn't know. Now, here we are at another, um, I, I, I personally think this is a very important um, transition for crypto because it's really going um, mainstream now. Yeah, a lot of people know about Bitcoin. Some people have no clue. I've, I've talked to a couple people who didn't know anything about crypto. They'd never heard about uh, Bitcoin. And this was in, this has been in the last year. Never heard of Bitcoin. And I was I was really surprised. But but yeah, I mean, they hadn't heard about it. So I think after this, after this run, I think we're going to see uh, just a a wider adoption uh, because I'm not sure what the percentage is now than the number of people who know about it and are actually invested in it but um, I think after this one it's going to increase you know multifold so who knows uh, all we can do is just keep our eyes on it be ready to sell don't let anybody tell you don't sell okay you set up your your um, points of, of exit, uh, especially like with XRP, don't try to hold on to it because you know we're going to have pullbacks, right? It's going to extend, then it's going to pull back, 
and those are points where you can sell or just hold I mean if it just makes you more comfortable uh, or, or well let me let me rephrase that it's gonna reach a point say four or five dollars okay I personally plan on pay, uh, taking profits at that time after I take those profits I'm gonna decide whether I want to re-enter after a pullback or if I'm just going to hold my cash okay um, so again that's just a, just a decision I'll have to make uh, when the time comes but that's what I mean by hold okay I know it, I just wanted to clarify but yeah the, the, the market is doing very well uh, there's a lot of excitement and you know what happens when people get excited in crypto we start getting pumps I mean even ethereum I mean ETH is is really doing its thing I don't know if it's hit uh, let me see what the all-time high was on the all-time high was 4897 that was back in 2021 so we still haven't hit the all-time high for ethereum but it would make sense because Bitcoin isn't done yet. Generally, you know, Bitcoin just kind of leads the way. And then once it reaches that um, full, like that full extension, then all of that money drains into the altcoin market. And at that point, things go nuts for us. Uh, that's, where the, that's where the majority of, mo of money is going to be made. So, yeah, I think we have a lot to be excited about. Um, also, I'm, <laughs> there's so many things going on in the world. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but it's, it's really kind of amazing uh, the different things that we are, we are we're seeing and things that are coming up. So uh, I would just suggest uh, pull your head out as, as well. Pull your head out of the market. Look around and see what's happening. A lot of important and very interesting things are going on. Uh, not just the wars, other stuff as well. Um, so, uh, I think that's all I wanted to bring to you guys today. Just a really exciting day. I think I may go live uh, later on today, probably this evening sometime. So, I'll be looking for you guys to show up. And again, I want to tell you, I really appreciate you guys. I mean, those of you who have, have, who have stuck with me uh, through just the, you know, since 2021. And, and you know, and again, I'll be honest, uh, I, I've gone through a lot. My mom, you know, with my mom passing and, you know, pretty much my family has just not really dealt with it very well. Um, it's, it, it has been difficult. So anyway, not trying to make any excuses, but like I said, I really appreciate all of you who are who are still um, you know, watching every video, um, commenting and, and just letting me know that you're, you're pretty much like just rooting for me. I, I can't tell you how much, how much that means to me. I, I really cannot. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, just keep your eyes out. I'll be making, I'll be putting out more content and yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. If you haven't done so already, Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the post notification button uh, so you know when I have posted. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless. Yeah.